Tonight, federal investigators are looking into reports of mail missing from a Myers Park neighborhood. Yes, residents say bills, packages, and credit cards never arrived. Tonight, a temporary letter carrier is at the center of this investigation. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Becker is live with the latest, Mark. Yeah, Natalie, we just got a notification, in fact, a statement from the Postal Service here saying that they are, in fact, investigating this case, but it comes about 10 days after they were first notified about the problem that happened in the Myers Park neighborhood, and no one may be more concerned about it than the man who regularly delivers the mail there. For 25 years, Danny Hinson has gone door to door in Myers Park delivering the mail, and he's made plenty of fans. I mean, you think of the most nicest, squeaky clean person you know, that would be him. But when he got back from vacation a couple of weeks ago, Hinson was hit with a surprise. Some of his customers told him they hadn't gotten important mail they were expecting. The first one, like I said, you go, maybe they didn't get any mail, but then when a couple of people tell you, you're suspicious. And Hinson took those complaints back to the station off Independence where he picks up his mail. And at the same time, people who were missing mail contacted their congressman. It just so sounded such such a horrible problem. Enter Bob Becker, District Director for Congressman Robert Pittenger. Becker says they learned that the person who'd replaced Henson had decided to lighten his load by simply dumping some of that mail in a dumpster. Becker says they contacted the local post office and were surprised that in 10 days since, the post office hasn't told residents in Myers Park anything. People that are in, affected really don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. um, and they're kind of coming to us for answers. And after 25 years of slogging through snow and ice and pretty soon the summer heat, Annie Henson says it's tough not to take it personally. I, I tell people I have the best job in the world and somebody does something like that, just, just can't understand it. And we're told that the man who temporarily filled in for him may have also filled in on some other routes while he was with, with the Postal Service. They're not confirming any of that, only saying that they are investigating and they will take appropriate action when that investigation is finished. Reporting live in North Charlotte, Mark Becker, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Mark, 